Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 5.2, number 65, and this was a problem where they gave us a bunch of traits, and they said, hey, can you find the graph, or at least look at the graph of the polynomial, and then can you give me its equation? So let's go ahead and take a look at what we do have here. I've got a y-intercept. I was told there were no x-intercepts. The degree is 4, and I have some end behavior. Okay, so if I was going to just sketch this over here, let's see what we have. So I have a y-intercept at 0, 1. I'll keep that in point in mind. Now, when it says there are no x-intercepts, that means my graph does not cross the y. Oops, that's not true. Does not cross the x-axis. And when that happens, typically you're seeing something like x squared plus 1 as a factor, or maybe you would see, um, let me use function notation, maybe you would see something like f of x equaling x to the 4th plus 16. What, that, what I'm trying to get out here is when you have a sum of squares, it doesn't factor over the real numbers, all right? So let me do a little side, I'm going to head down here and just do a little side um, no, right? If you had x squared minus 1, you could factor that into x minus 1, x plus 1. So a difference of squares factors, but x squared plus 1, it does not factor over real numbers. And let me write over real numbers. You could factor it over imaginary numbers. But where I'm going here is if I'm told that there are no x-intercepts, then I'm looking at some kind of factor of the form x squared plus 1. Or since the degree is 4 here, I'm looking at x to the 4th plus 1, or x to the 4th plus 7, some, some form of that. All right, so getting back to it, I had a y-intercept at 0, 1, no x-intercepts, the degree is 4. All right, for my end behavior, let's see what we've got. Let me, oops, excuse me. Let me erase what I have here. All right, so as I head left, I go up. So as I head left, I go up. As I head right, I also go up, something like this. So I think, wait for it, that could be my graph. And if I want that to be my graph, I mean, that I, I could just see it right there that I could use the form x to the fourth plus 1. Because it, it goes back to what I said before. Looking at this, I do have a y-intercept at 1. Because this term collectively is a sum of squares, and I say sum of squares because I could write this if I wanted to as x squared squared plus 1 squared. That is a sum of squares. But since I have this x to the fourth plus 1, I'm not going to have any x-intercepts. The end behavior will be both ends up. But I went into it just a little bit more formally here, right? So you see me saying since the graph has no x-intercepts in degree 4, then this is going to be the format of my function, right? I have degree 4, I have this plus sign here, and that will stop me from having any x-intercepts. Now, I was also told that this a value over here had to either be 1 or negative 1. And the reason I'm going to opt for a being positive 1 here is because they told us for the end behavior I had both ends up. So when both ends are up, it's got to be a positive lead coefficient. And that's why you see me saying, well, my a value over here is actually going to be 1. And then last but not least, to, to really solidify what the c value should be, I use the y-intercept. And the y-intercept says, hey, plug 0 in for x and plug 1 in for y, right? Because my y-intercept was 0, 1, and solve for c. And sure enough, I get c equaling 1, which is what I guessed over here anyways. So that's a more formal way of getting to the algebraic equation, x to the fourth plus one, but there you go. All right, so thanks so much, everyone. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.